Wherever you're watching, thank you for joining me for Music In My Life. Today I'll be joined by a few members of a group which call themselves Vade. They are a male group and they sing a very highly specialized music style known as a cappella close harmony. That style requires dedication, focus, listening, and everybody working as a team. We'll also be exploring what it means to be a part of a team or to not be a part of a team. Stay with us as we discover Vade and the music in their lives. The following really did happen. I was conducting my choir one day and we were singing a song where towards the end of the song, the song came to a standstill. There was a couple of seconds break and then the choir would re-enter. So everything's going well, we're singing the song, people are enjoying it, smiles on the faces. Everybody's really in, into the song. We get to the part where it stops. So far, so good. Now I make what's called a preparatory gesture, which conductors do to prepare singers to come in. So I did that with all of my enthusiasm. <sighs> no sound. I thought, okay, let me give it, give it one more try. Give it one more try. <laughs> No sound. Of course, at this time, the choir is very conscious that they're being watched by hundreds in the audience, and everybody's thinking, who's going to take the plunge to come in first? So I gave it one more try. I thought, OK, well, either we finish the song here, we sink or we swim. So I decided that I was going to continue the rest of the song, and the choir would join in. It's a funny story, which we still share to the present day. It reminds me of a little joke, which says, how do you know if a singer is knocking at your door? Well, they can't find the key and they don't know when to come in. Now, this is talking really about the often diva attitudes which, uh, which musicians and very often singers have. A normal singer, when they're warming up, would sing a scale. <clears throat> do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And when a diva warms up, it's do, re, mi, 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 mi. It's all about the individual, it's all about the self. Now this business of music, of course, is very cutthroat. Sometimes you've got to forget who your friends are uh, for the duration of the audition. And when you both don't get the job, then, then you hug and make up again. Psychologists talk about different types of divas. They talk about the healthy diva and the unhealthy diva. Now you might think that all diva behavior is completely unhealthy, but the characteristics are the same for both of them. They are confident, they have a sense of their self-worth, they know what they can do, and they give 150% in all of their performances. But the fundamental difference is that the unhealthy diva is all about self, whereas the healthy diva is willing to recognize the part others have played to make that particular experience a success. But I think there's a third type of diva. That's what I call the deluded diva. It's somebody who wants to be center stage but frankly, they're not suitable for the job. We see that a lot on talent shows, and very often singers sing with what we call an affected voice, where they're trying to give the judges what they think that the judges want to really hear and impress them. So rather than saying, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. Okay, that's the melody of the tune, but they need to impress. What the world needs now. You know, why sing one note when you can sing a hundred? I think sometimes the diva needs to take a dive. Well, this is going to be one crazy interview. I can see it in your faces. <laughs> um, but you are? Vade. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, I studied Latin at school, but you need to remind me. Um, Vade is um, it's a Latin word, which um, I happened to look up online, just the name of a group. Um, it's a Latin word that means to go. To uh, go, and okay. Basically, our state mission statement, um, as we are Christian, we're a Christian group. Right. Um, we would like to go there for and sort of 
um, minister in music and song mm. um, to let people know the message about our love for God. Mm. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to come around to you. I mean, there, there are five of you in total. Yes. Yes. So own up, yeah. which one, Mr. Train? Who, Mr. Train? This, this, would you give me like, <laughs> give me a unison Sanderson, ex, you know, ex, 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 explosion? Jermaine Sanderson. Jermaine <laughs> Sanderson, you missed the train. All right, so let's just, well, Jermaine Sanderson is a singer who's not here, so let's just go around and just, um, well, start with you. What, um, who are you? What, what do you sing? My name is Roy Crisp, and I sing third ten in the group, which is right in the middle of the five. Yeah. Wow. My name's Samuel Aqua, and I sing the baritone. Me loco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My name is Philip Yubo, I sing the second tenor, second from the top. Okay. I am Joshua Hammersley. And you sing soprano. <laughs> <laughs> also known as bass. <laughs> also known as bass. Now, I, obviously, Joshua, you know, you sing in my choir. And I remember when you came for your audition, I don't know if you remember that far back, but it's got, had this young boy come to audition for, for the London Events Chorale Choir, which I conduct. And I remember your audition really, really clearly, because I, um, I remember finishing the audition and saying, okay, well, because you're so young, you were young at the time, then you can just uh, do a few songs at a time and just ease in gently. But then you went home and said, yeah, right. A few songs at a time, I'm coming back in full force. You came back, you know, the entire repertoire, you're confident, everything like that. So. You, you, you bring so much to, to the choir. So just yeah, it, was, it was awesome. It was awesome to, see, to be part of it. Personal, yes. thank you. Great. And uh, obviously the check didn't bounce, so that's great. <laughs> um, so, I mean, how would you describe the, the, the style of music which you sing? Um, because obviously lots of male groups, so, so they sing R&B, some jazz, acapella, jazz, whatever. Oh. Swing, pop, gospel. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Jazz, swing, pop, gospel. Yeah, put a few genres yeah. in there. Genres. Genres. Contemporary. Yeah. We try a bit of classical. We try a bit of classical. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what are your own sort of personal musical influences and memories growing up? Um, because, I mean, I, I gather that you, you know, you're from African origin. How many people were actually born in, in the African continent? Myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just two of us. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Guilty. Right. So, so you're, you're, you're from the, the island of... Uh, not the island. <laughs> the country of Zimbabwe. And um, so, so, I mean, what was it like kind of growing up in terms of musical influences? Well, um, for me, um, I came from a very, very, um, what you call stereotypical African um, background where my father used to sing in a group and their group used to emulate the King's Heralds and... So that's, that's, a, gospel, that's a long running gospel that's group, That's a yes. long running gospel group as well um, and heritage singers and those kind of influences to them. So um, I grew up listening to that and listening to a lot of uh, classic gospel stuff, even from, from Dolly Parton as well. Um, I had uh, quite a lot of um, country music embedded into me and a lot of reggae as well. And um, I guess in that African setting, uh, a lot of African music, and that's why I like the bass because you right. know uh, uh, you utilize a lot of bass in our African music, wow. and mm. you know that's 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 my thing, my jam. All right, yeah, okay. So you remain true to your roots because the rest of the oh, tenors, yes. traders, you know, they're traitors, <laughs> traitors, <laughs> tea for traitors. So, 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 what's your what's your personal influences growing up? Um, I mean, t to be quite honest, um, growing up, I was probably the only musical one in the family. Um, right. I used to go to church now and again, Sunday school and all of that, but um, not really much musical influence until sort of my mum bought me a Boys to Men CD. <laughs> that sort of started. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just had to do that. And yeah, and you know, that's how it started. Um, started listening song by song, right. tune by tune. They had the classic four part harmonies, and I just used to listen to each and every part and just memorize the songs. And that was my musical influences um, until I came over to the UK, of course, and met these lovely guys. Hmm. And I learned a lot, whole, whole lot more. Great. Well, well let's, let's, let's take the journey south and then go across west because we're now in, in, in Ghana, which is the, 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 your, 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 your roots. Um, of course, you were brought up here. And so, what, what, what were the early influences which um, informed your musical tastes and choices? <laughs> well, um, I think for me, because I grew up in a musical family, um, my older brothers were a huge influence on um, the sort of music I listened to, um, and I picked up a lot of things from them. Um, I think one of my early um, like, groups that I heard was um, 
the King's Heralds, as JJ said, and because um, I grew up in a Christian home, mm. a lot of gospel music, mm. um, heritage, um, and those sort of people, you know. Um, yeah, that, that's really my kind of musical influences. Right. Okay. And we don't want you to feel left out. Um, <laughs> you know, I spoke a little earlier about divas, and apparently you're the diva of the group. So if we don't give you your chance Amen. to speak, Amen. then I think. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now go ahead. Ben. I'm just teasing. No. Um, I think also for me, I, I grew up in a, in a musical family. But I, I guess um, now I'm the only one in the family that took the music um, seriously. Um, I think it all started when I was eight, watching my older brother and his older brother too, Victor uh, Victor Aqua. Um, singing um, a cappella music, gospel a cappella music, a group called um, GLAD. Um, I used to listen to them, uh, listen to Boys to Men, as Roy mentioned as well. They were big influences for me when I was growing up too. So it all started with, you know, R&B and that old school gospel music. Right. Yeah. Okay. And it's very evident, I've heard some of your music, that uh, you've been heavily influenced by a group called Take Six. Now, Take Six oh, are, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, I can see by the reaction, they are, I believe, <laughs> the most nominated Grammy yes. group in history. Mm. Um, no. Um, I know they've won awards, but in terms of nominations as well, I think. Um, but they certainly were. Um, and if they're not, their Wikipedia page needs updated. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they obviously are a big... I mean, what is it about that, that particular sound? Because they sing very, very complex music. I mean, it's difficult to... I've mm. often had to transcribe Take Six. Mm. And uh, that's when my musical training then started just <laughs> coming into... Yes. So what, what is it about their music, or well, that type of music, that like close harmony, that, that is so endearing to you? So all the groups you mentioned are very harmony based. Mm, I, I guess um, from my point of view, I guess I can speak for all of them when we say uh, growing up with your standard four part harmony is, you know, the, the, the layering is normally the bass is either doing an octave of the, 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 the second tenor or, the, the, um, or the, the, um, the lead itself. But mm. uh, when it comes to jazz harmony or take six style harmony obviously they they go back to gene purling of the high lows and and singers unlimited um, who are jazz groups uh, but for us what it is it's just the fact that you know you can you can add and add and add and change you know it's not mm. your simple four part three part harmony it's something completely different that blows your ears out of the water um for us there isn't anything specific we could say we can go on and on and on about mm. Take Six. Um, well, I mean, there is a song that they did on their very first album yeah. um, called There Is A Quiet Place, and I know you're now going to share that with us. Um, uh, the Vardy take on um, a, a Quiet Place, a song originally written by Ralph Carmichael. And we're going to be joined by, well, we've, 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 got, we've got Zimbabwe, we've got Ghana, we don't have any Nigerians, so we, we're going to have to... Um, <laughs> we've been Nigerian. <laughs> so we're going to have, we have to invite uh, a, a dear friend, uh, Tuchi Anarukum, who is going to join you on the guitar as you sing, There Is A Quiet Place. Squad. 
quiet place I go prepared to face a new day with love for all Gents, that was totally awesome. It really was. Thank and you, you know what I loved cool. about that was just that there were there were no no divas in there. <laughs> um, I mean, all of you had you know the opportunity to actually do do something uh, with, with, with within that. And um, I spoke a little earlier in the show about you know affectation people who like to just sort of sing to impress. Um, and I gave a, a really rather bad demonstration of, 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 of a typical sort of talent show singer where they, um, they over-decorate stuff. But I must say that the, the little decorate, decorated bits that you actually did in the songs, the embellishments, were just all in taste and they just all worked so well. There was no sense that anybody was trying to put themselves, which is really, really great. And that's really what, what ensemble singing is all about. Well, that's just really fantastic. Now, I want you to do something. Um, I've, I've seen this done with other groups, so I'm going to put you through this. I, I really love this exercise. Um, one of my specialisms is, 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 is harmony and analysis, and I like to just um, take a little bit of that song and then just get you to do bits one by one, because what you're doing is not easy. You know, normally people follow, follow harmonies, they follow in parallel. Whatever the tune does, they go down as much as, as it goes down and go up as much as it goes up, but you're not. It's, it's, it's overlapping. So we're going to put it all together, and then we're going to talk a little bit about, um, about a new recording you've done. But before that, can we, can we just take a section of the song? Sure. Um, yeah, sure. Um, I, I will do the middle <coughs> section, uh, the um, new strip. Um, take a bit back, and then I'll sing into it. I sing the top in this particular song, um, which is the melody, and I'll, I'll go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'll do the whole thing. Where the car. Okay. So like a good, like a good um, mm. cookery show now, let's have the next ingredient. So who are we going to add next? Well, normally it would be Jermaine Sanderson. Oh, the guy who missed it. You can tell him he doesn't coach. make it. You sound great complete without him. But uh, anyway. Then, yes, that would be the third part. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. New strength. Of control that sounds absolutely delightful. Mm. So now, what happens when we now add the uh, a touch of aqua? Locker, yeah. The meat <laughs> The baby barrel. Oh, wow. We call him the baby barrel. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> mm. 
That's a vegetarian option. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no meat. I got caught in the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll say that. That's fine. Yeah, all right. Let's, let's go, go for it. Let's go, let's go for it. New strength. New strength. And courage there I find. Ooh, okay, now I think that needs a touch of uh, the foundation. Well, the foundation the base, is the base. next together. I wasn't going to say it, but. <laughs> <Saucy. laughs> Hallelujah. No, 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 you're doing well so far. I've had a diva moment, so. You know, <laughs> keep that, you know, I want to keep the pity of you very, very high. <laughs> okay. Great. Now, I want to also give props to your wonderful guitarist there, Tochi. The thank you very much. Tochi. 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 Great. Well, thank you very much. One sound. Um, you can go now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Just like the church notices where you know, we have self-esteem uh, classes next week, Tuesday. Please use a back door. Anyway, <laughs> now, you've, you've done a single, which is great. And um, Tell us a little bit about this. And... Well, um, the single is uh, it's a it's a it's a classic single, I, yes. I guess. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a spiritual. spiritual, a Negro spiritual, mm. uh, quite a familiar term there. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the song is called Riverside, so mm. a lot of people would have heard the same old folk tune. I'm gonna lay down my burdens lay down. by the riverside, lay down. by the riverside, lay down. by the riverside. See, they always, he always sing the bass. They're all yeah. stealing yeah. each other's. He's got to watch, watch the bass roll there. Um, Take me out of my see, job. It's coming for that. <laughs> 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 it's fantastic. Well. A lot of people associate the sort of singing that you do with a lot of a cappella singing where you're actually hearing the purity of the voice. And in, in fact, even in the accompanied piece you've just done, um, there is, was still a, a vocal purity about it. The voice was still quite prominent. Uh, but you're now going to do something in the sort of a cappella tradition. So mm. can you just talk about what you're going to sing next? OK, well, um, the song we're going to do now um, is by a group called Breath of Life. Um, how does the, the, the name go? It's wipe, wipe my weeping eyes. They're a Seventh-day Adventist group, a Christian group, um, based in uh, America. And um, this guy here, this, this guy <laughs> is the one that brought yeah, this. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Uh, the title is actually No More Sorrow. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> it helps, no sorrow. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess it depends which part you're singing. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're yeah. singing the bass, you might be singing the words No More Sorrow, but you might be singing my, 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 my weeping eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, um, it just talks about a, a blessed hope um, that we all share as Christians. Mm. Um, you know, the ultimate goal for us as Christians is to one day make it to heaven and to rejoin with our savior who died for us. And in this song, we're just reflecting on that um, as Christians uh, and the hope that we're, we're given. Mm. But uh, before we start, we, we use this little pitch pipe. You know, pitch this, is, this is what uh, acapella groups use. You know, we, we don't have the fancy pianos and guitars and stuff. So or we even this. perfect pitch. Anyway, but anyway. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> so you have a little blow in there. Hallelujah, there'll be no, no more sorrow, be no, no tomorrow, be no, no more crying, no people more dying, farewell, be farewell to my every care, wipe, wipe my weeping eyes, no, no more sorrow, no, no tomorrow, be no, no more crying, no people dying, be farewell to my every care, I'm going to wipe, wipe, wipe my weeping Whoa. Now, Josh, that's a bottom G. <laughs> I want one of those. <laughs> wow, that was just absolutely awesome. Uh, that, that's really, really incredible. And, you know, um, where can one find your, your track? Because, I mean, 
I'm sure a lot of the viewers are going to just want to download. Download. Crash the system. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're hoping. So it'll be on all the digital platforms in, yes, in, in yes, a normal. Yes, okay, so yeah, all, all the rest of them have it. Walk with the carry them with, with, with you in, in your edges. Listen, I want to say it's been a really um, great joy having you. It's been such a wonderful it's energy. Been a pleasure. Thank and, you, uh, Thank you. you know, you represent uh, just something really exciting, you know, just to bring in together different musical genres and disciplines. And, you know, well, just real cool guys. This is going to be a crazy interview tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but it was great. I love a bit of craziness. So thank you once again for joining me on Music. Thank, thank you for having us. Thank, thank you so much. Today we've witnessed firsthand what happens when people truly work together. The wonderful harmonies we experienced and witnessed was a testament to that. The key success of a group, musical or otherwise, is not just ability, but stability, doing whatever it takes to keep together. And I want to define stability as stamina with humility. Stamina in the sense that people are indeed working hard and going on whatever it takes and the humility to recognize that it's not all about you, for we indeed all need somebody to lean on. Join me again for music in my life.